Ariane, thank you so much for being here. Welcome to Mipan. How are you today? I'm very good. Very excited to see you again and to be here. Yes, yeah, so great to have you. Where are you calling in from? I'm coming from Barcelona in Spain. Yes. Ah, one of my favorite cities. I'm so mm. jealous. I can't wait to get back there. You know, we've been having some amazing conversations and I've been following your brand, uh, Olympia Coaching, for some time. I love getting your newsletters. They're always so inspirational and motivational and, and also just such a good reminder that, you know, no matter who we are, where we are in our careers, sometimes we battle with, you know, just our mindset. We're constantly pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone, trying new things, doing new things, wanting to get further in our career and in places we've never been before. And that can really mess with us and sometimes mess with our confidence. And, um, and it's just so important to have, you know, a community around that. And so we're here talking about how to create an unstoppable mindset. I'd love to know, you know, take us back a little bit to your days, you know, working in the music industry, um, you know, running all these uh, shows, seeing everything behind the scenes, what artists were going through. Why did you make this transition? Yeah, so music was my first love. So I worked in the industry for about 15 years uh, at labels. And then I was the booker for a 5,000 capacity venue, booking headline acts as well as emerging acts. And of course, when you are behind the scenes and you work in light life, you can see people running into all sorts of trouble with mainly a lack of balance. And um, sometimes it's hard as well to keep your confidence high when your career goes through these highs and lows. That is the nature of an artistic career. And in parallel, I started to become really fascinated about personal development for my own sake. And as you get into these sorts of topics, you realize, oh my God, everything that I'm learning is so useful. These are really essential life skills. And I really wanted to share what I was learning with those people that I love so much and with artists, because I personally cannot live without music. So I feel I owe so much to, to musicians and artists. And I want to contribute in that way and help people thrive and be happy and fulfilled. So... I trained as a life coach and I'm now, I'm a life and career coach for artists and music professionals. And essentially I help them find direction, find clarity, confidence, and really overcome what holds them back so that they can achieve their full potential and get to the next stage in their careers. So I see it, you know, in your newsletters and stuff talking about self-limiting beliefs. Can you tell us a little bit more of like, what, what does that mean? Yeah, so self-limiting beliefs means that we all have beliefs. So this is why it's so important to talk about mindset and to work on your mindset. And mindset is something that has to be worked on constantly, not just once. We, as you go throughout your career, you will always find mindset blocks. So it's important to talk about beliefs because beliefs are at the root of everything else because you have a belief that in turn is going to become a thought and a thought even though you cannot see it you cannot feel it it's a real thing it has an energy and it will shape how you feel the actions that you take your behaviors and that in turn will create your results so if you want to have different results, you need to go back to the root, which are your beliefs. And quite often we have beliefs without even knowing we are limiting ourselves. This is why we call them limiting beliefs. So every time you think something like, I can't do this, I don't have what it takes, or I'm too old, or this is the only way this can work, you're realizing that, oh, I'm already limiting myself by saying those things and believing that. But the truth is we live in this infinite universe and in reality, there is an infinite amount of possibilities. So we want to rewire the way we look at things and not see things in a limited way. And instead, ask yourself, um, get into the habit of asking yourself, what is possible? And if everything is possible, then what is the right next action that I can take that will get me closer to my goals? Mm -hmm. So it's important to, to realize where we are limiting ourselves unnecessarily. And how are you looking at something in particular that's making you say this isn't possible, right? 
we all kind of have a different set of glasses on. That's usually, you know, the kind of like visual that I like to give people. And we're looking at the world through a certain lens based on our stories, based on what our parents told us, based on what our friends told us, right? Especially in the music industry, a lot of times, whether you're an artist or even working as an executive, right? I started my company when I was in, in 2015, when people were like, the music industry is dead, you know, like, why would you step into music? That's crazy. And so we'd start to absorb those things. Like, maybe I am crazy. Maybe this isn't possible. And then I start seeing things as like these big hurdles when, you know, if I just took the glasses off and maybe put a little, you know, another pair on, I would see it much differently. Absolutely. There is no such thing as a reality out there. Everything, it's like we all live in our own reality. And even then, our own reality is made up, like you said, of past stories. There's a lot of conditioning, a lot of patterns, a lot of things that are not even ours that we took on and that we accumulated over the years. And it's funny because I just had a session with a client today and He's 35 and he's got her day job. He's always done music as well. And now he wants to focus more on his, on his music. And as he started to reach out to more, to more musicians and so on, he started to get to absorb this story that music is something that you do when you're young, when you're 20 and you go out for your music dream and then maybe it's going to work out, maybe it won't. And then you kind of come back and you start to have this day job and to... You, you say no to your music dreams. So he's doing it in the opposite way. And I was trying to show him how that's a great thing and that his journey is entirely unique and that the story that in order to be a musician, you need to be 20, it doesn't make any sense, right? It's not even your story to take on in the first place. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when we talk about changing someone's mindset, right? And helping them really develop that unstoppable mindset, where, where do we start? So let's start with, for example, the growth mindset. So, so the growth mindset is recognizing that you are here to grow, you are here to learn, you never want to stop learning. And instead of wanting to stay safe and comfortable, you're here to grow. So that means you're here to take risks. You want to be taking action that may not feel super comfortable, like promoting yourself, and you have to be okay with willing, being willing to take those risks, to be vulnerable and to be here for the journey rather than um, having a safe um, mode of operating and staying small because you're scared of rejection and things like that. So start with this, with this attitude of I'm here to grow and to learn and I'm here to experiment and it's okay if I make mistakes. Okay. And when you start working with clients, you know, at the beginning, like, are there any particular exercises or things that you like them to, you know, run through to really check in and, and, and figure out, like, what is my mindset? Do I even know where I'm starting from? Mm -hmm. So it's a very organic process. One thing that we always work on is working on um, what you can call the inner critic it's this voice that we all have. So this oh, inner dialogue. We? Huh? <laughs> I said, yes. oh yeah, don't we? <laughs> yes, Mine's so like we are. It even right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we all have it. It's okay. And it's this voice, it's, it's this self-talk um, that can sometimes be very negative and very critical and judgmental. Yeah. So it's something again like that we all have. It's okay to have it. However, it's not okay to let it run the show. So the first step is to recognize, to be aware of this voice because quite often it runs around in the background and you don't even notice it, but it has a real impact in how you feel, in the actions that you will take. So one, one common thing that, um, the, the way this voice shows up, one common way it sounds is thinking that you are not good enough. This is a universal belief that can pop up of you're not good enough or your music is not good enough. So you have to first recognize this voice and recognize any of those fears or blocks that you may have and being willing to face them. So repressing them, ignoring them doesn't work. So when I work with clients, we go through a whole process to 
let this voice have its say, let it express itself and then find ways to integrate it with compassion, with love, so it becomes less powerful. And so you can take back the lead because you want to be your, the, your inner leader and not let the voice be the one that is has the stronger say because this voice can be very very loud yeah so. yeah i was talking to a friend about something like this recently right and he you know started working with the therapist and whatnot and i think just you know working through some of that just like negative self-talk and he said so now when that pops up i just welcome it and i say hey pull up a chair and make yourself comfortable like you're not going anywhere all right great but I can kind of separate myself from that, right? And so having that imagery, I was like, wow, that, that's really powerful. And I caught myself doing that the other day. I'm sitting here, I'm doing yoga, yay, trying to be all like, you know, woo-woo and positive for my day. And these negative things started popping up. And I thought, you know what? Instead of me now badgering myself because I'm badgering myself, I'm just going to let it pull up a chair, hey, pull up a mat next to me and do what you need to do. And it was just so much easier to, you know, to really, I don't know, create, create that separation. Absolutely. This is a great way to do this is to start to disidentify from this voice because this voice is not you. So just, the, just because you have the thoughts, first of all, it doesn't mean it's real. It doesn't mean it's true. And it's not you. It's just the thoughts. So the real you is the awareness behind the thoughts. So you want to, again, like you said, you observe the thought, maybe you acknowledge its presence, maybe you can even enter in a conversation with it. Um, but some, I, I think one thing that can be helpful for, for the people watching is to give reassurance to these fearful thoughts. So give it reassurance, say, it's okay, I'm, I'm handling this, don't worry, we're not going to die here, I'm just trying to put a song out, it's not the end of the world. And... Um, and really ask yourself, is this the true? Is this, is this thought helpful? And if not, then take back the lead and decide that you're not going to let that thought run away with its, its uh, fearful thinking. Yeah. And I think that's such an important thing to, to, you know, to bring awareness to is, is fear. Again, I mean... Being entrepreneurs, having a, a, a public brand means that you're 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 putting yourself in a pretty vulnerable spot, right? You're putting music out there, you're putting content out there. You know the trolls are going to come with some with some negative comments, like you know that stuff. And um, and so I think that it's just so important to you know not let your fears define you, but let them educate you and know that it, it's, it's a part of all of our, our journeys. And if we're going to continue to grow, it's probably always going to be there. And again, to not like, you know, allow ourselves to beat ourselves up because of that. Absolutely. And in fact, for your audience, if you are watching this talk right now, if you have registered to the Mekong conference, it means that you've answered the call to the hero's journey. And not everyone answers that call. So first of all, it means you are really courageous and you can give yourself a pat on the back for even being on this creative entrepreneurship journey because it's not easy and it's for the heroes, right? So the hero and the heroine, as they go on this journey, they will face all these trials and tribulations and all your fears will come up and all your blocks will come up. And on the way, you will also find assistants like this conference and guides. And in order to reach the final destination, which is the success that you want, you will have to face what is called the, the final battle. And this final battle is with yourself. Because that means that you cannot reach the other side. You cannot reach the success that you want being the same person as you were when you started, right? You, you have to go through this process of inner transformation. And this is where actually the goal lies. It's all about this process of inner transformation. So it's okay to have fear that will come up as you go on through this journey. And it's a really positive thing because as they come up, this is where you can heal them. You can heal those fears, you can overcome them and become even stronger and reach even more of your potential. Mm -hmm. And know that we're going to take two steps forward, 
and sometimes one step back and then another two steps forward and then maybe a few back and you know so it's really just always going to be this kind of ebb and flow I mean I even find myself still I wake up in the morning okay I'm thinking about all these things that I have to do and everything that's going on and all the people that are relying on me or whatever it is and so I'm I I, I have really gotten myself into habits right mindset habits I get up I go for a walk, I get out in the sunshine, get into nature, do that. When I get in the shower, I'm playing YouTube, some kind of motivational video. I need some Tony Robbins in my life or somebody. <laughs> and this is just an ongoing thing, you know, for me. So it takes a lot. There are probably are some people who really master this, but I imagine even for you as a life coach doing these things, you may need your own life coach at times. A hundred percent. As I said, like uh, like you, what you said, progress is not linear. It's not like we're always progressing and getting better. There's back and forth. There's it's it's not a linear process. And suddenly you make this big constant jump, and suddenly you are to different place. But every time the fears come back up, it's, it means you you get to work with them on a deeper level. And so that's why it's mindset. We all need to work on a mindset, me included, maybe me the first one. This is why I became a life coach. And uh, finding the tools that work for you, like working in nature, moving your body for sure, learning to breathe properly. I also watch a lot of uh, videos that are inspiring and motivating because I feel like I really get this energy transfer, even though it's a YouTube video. I get a real transfer of energy of the people, the person that speaks, and I get to integrate that in my own body. So it's, I find it's really helpful. Mm -hmm. And and another thing to um, to remember when you go through these these lows and these setbacks is to remember your why, remember your purpose. And I love working with clients on that because um, I really believe that we all come to this earth with a specific mission, a specific specific purpose. And your purpose is the bigger reason why you do this. So mm -hmm. what, is, what is the thing that is bigger than you that is wanting to be manifested and um, channeled through you? And I, I think it's really important to know what your purpose is because um, it's what drives you. And also it's your anchor. It's what keeps you determined and resilient when things get tough it's what helps you stay the course and it's really the remembrance of that that there is something way bigger than you that is wanting to be expressed so in a way you're like okay well I need to I need to go through this 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 setback or I need to face my fears because it's not it's about me but it's also not not about me does that make sense mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah for sure and you know I think with that as well is you know, where you're trying to go, if you've really identified that, 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 that big vision, you know, there's a lot of people that haven't. And a lot of people that are living in a, you know, in a, a negative space, because maybe they just, you know, again, they haven't shown up for themselves yet. And one of the most important things that I learned along the way is that I am the five people I spend the most time with, right? So here I am working with you, working on myself, doing all of this, doing all of that. But then the rest of my day, I'm listening to negative news. I'm surrounding myself with negative people. I'm, in, you know, embracing these like ego driven conversations. And so really be, you know, if you really want to drive this stuff home, you really want that unstoppable mindset. Also, you might have to cut some people out of your life or decide, you know, who you want to spend your time with. Do they have that mindset? Are they helping to propel you forward or, or, or bring you back? What have, have you had many conversations with, with um, some of your clients around that? Um, not really about other people, but I totally agree with you that um, we have to be very discerning into what information and energy we let in through our eyes, through our ears, um, so be very discerning about creating this environment, like you said, that is supportive, that is positive. Uh, so, of course, if you expose yourself to the mainstream media news all day long, you're not going to feel very positive. You're not going to feel very empowered. And if you're surrounded by people who don't like their jobs, who are negative, who live in lack, then they're going to bring you down as well. So... Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not a question of like cutting everyone out of your life, but be very mindful of who you want to spend more time with, 
what kind of content you want to you want to feed yourself more with so curate your instagram feed um be mindful of what you what content you consume on youtube and so on i, I personally i love finding inspiration with with people who are at a much higher level than me in all sorts of ways in business in spirituality because i get i get to learn so much from them and i get to get this this new energy and this this bigger vision thanks to thanks to them so it's what we call the the people who can expand you mm. so it's not about comparing yourself but it's about thinking oh wow it fits possible for them some of it is possible for me as well and how can i let them expand me and expand what's possible for me and then yeah maybe cut some ties or or be mindful in the same way that you want to be very discerning with your own thoughts and i like to say like be your own a and r so when the thoughts come up don't just take them all in either either like if they rooted in fear or in 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 self limiting beliefs then decide not to um let that thought um become an action or become a feeling and the same like you said with people if you're surrounded by negative people maybe you want to spend less, less time with them yeah so there's so much information that that you know we really have to share um and we wanted to just kind of scratch the surface in some of this stuff and really set the stage in january we're going to be hosting a whole workshop around this and then arians graciously um uh offered to even do some long-term mastermind classes all of that but we really need to know who you are you know what your goals are so make sure that you're filling out the artist profile that's going to be on our website so we can really get more information from you you're going to be able to go to the services uh, area as well and sign up for that workshop so you'll see lots of information coming right after this conference but Ariane if people want to work with you now where can they go how can they sign up um again your newsletter is you know so informational so i really just suggest that everyone sign up on that as well yeah they can go on to my website so it's olympiacoaching.com olympia is o l y m p i a coaching.com and i've got a bunch of free resources on my website that you can sign up for including my newsletter and i also offer free consultations so you can just hop on the phone with me we can discuss where you are at and uh, we can talk about how i may be able to support you and i would love 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 to hear from you and help you become the best that you can be and uh, be have the success that you deserve in this industry amazing well thank you for all that you do i know this is you know really a, a kind of new thing that that's popping up in the music industry i know when when i stepped into the music industry because i came from more of the personal development world and the coaching world and i thought wait we're talking all about this entrepreneurship but but you know where's the support system where are the coaches so i think it's so cool what you're doing really look forward to working with you more and thanks again for your time and for being here with us me too it was a real pleasure and i have to say i love you so i love your energy and everything that you've achieved it's it's a real a real inspiration for me as well oh uh, i so appreciate that because i tell you that negative self critic is like what are you doing this conference for who's going to listen to you what's going on right Uh so I really appreciate the feedback that's amazing. Well we'll see you again in January and um then we'll take it from there. Great. Bye. Bye bye.